We continue now at the top of Daf Nun Dalad Amid Beis Hamisachas Yuma. This is Yuma Daf Fifty Four B. The Gemara here is darshaning a pasuk about the Kruvim in the Beis Hamikdash. It was Kiish Hamaura Bilavoya Shalo. The pasuk means to say that it's like a man who is embracing his partner. Rashi says Hanidbuk Vechavuk Beishto Bein Zeroosav. He's hugging his wife between his arms. That's what the Kruvim were doing. Amar Reish Lakish Reish Lakish says Bishosh and Nichnasu Nachrim LaHechol. When the Nachrim, when the non-Jews entered the Hechol, Ro Kruvim Hamaurin Zeboze. They saw the Kruvim embracing one another. Hotzian La. They took them out to the marketplace. Rashi says, "Hotziim lashuk kipulim in hakosel." They peeled it off the wall. This is talking about the designs of the kruvim that were on the wall. They took them out to the marketplace. The Yomro and they said, "Yisrael halalu these uh, these Jews shabrachasim brachu klalasim klala." The brachas that they make is a real bracha. The curses that they make are a real curse. Yasku bedvarim halalu. Yet they're dealing with this matter. Is this really an appropriate thing that they should put up in the base on mikdash? Miad hizilum, and then they treated them like they were nothing. They disgraced them. Shenemar, like it says, kol all of those who honor it, they disgrace it because they have seen its nakedness. And the Gemara continues that the two dots, quoting the Mishnah, Shasia Haisa Nikris, the stone that was in the Kodesh Kadashim was called the Evan Shasia. Tana was taught in a Tosefta, Shemimena Hushsasa Olam. It was from this stone that the world was created. And the Gemara says, Tanan Kamando Amar Mitzio Nivra Olam. This Mishnah follows the one who says that the world was created from Tzio and from Eretz Yisrael. The Tanya, as we learned in a Braiser, Rabbi Eliezer Omer, Rabbi Eliezer says, Olam Mayam Tzioso Nivra. The world was created from its center. Shanemar, like the Pasuk says, Betsekes Ofar Lamutsak Ur Govim Yudubaku. Rashi over here explains, Betsekes Ofar Lamutsak, Mutsak Echor Hayulo, Umisham Nidbekur Govim Sevivav. There was like one center form and they attach to it surrounding clods, surrounding pieces of the earth, of the world, and that's how they formed it. So in other words, it was formed from the center. Rabbi Yoshua, Omer Rabbi Yoshua says, Olam min hat nivra. The world was created from the sides. Shanemar, like the Pasuk says, Ki la shelag yomer heve oretz vigeshem motor vigeshem mitros uzo. Rashi over here explains, Min hat stadin nivra arba mutsakos hayulo. There were like four centers at the corners that were used to create the world. Vinimtach vaholech mi kol tzad and they got spread out from each side until they attached in the middle. From the snow or from the rain you create the earth. Where did this rain come from? From the four sides of the world. And then they solidified in order to create the world. So again, according to that opinion, the world was created uh, from the sides. Rabbi Yitzchok, Rabbi Yitzchok says, Evan Yara HaKadosh Baruch Bayam, HaKadosh Baruch Hu threw a stone into the sea, Mimenu Nishta Sa'olam, and from there the world was created, Shanemar, like the Pasuk says, Alma Adoneha, Hatba'u Omi Yara Evan Pinasa, talking about throwing the stone, and again, creating the world. The Chachamim Omrim, the Chachamim say, Mitzio Nivra, Nivra, the world was created from Tzion, from Eretz Yisrael, Shanemar, like the Pasuk says, Mizmor Li Asaf, Kel Elokim Hashem Viomer Mitzion Michlal Yofi Mimenu. It says from Tzion came the Yofi, came the the uh, beauty. Michlal uh, Yofi is the end of the pasuk, and the idea is Mimenu Muchlal Yofi of Shalolam. From Tzion came out the beauty of the world. That's how the world was created. And the Gemara continues. Tanya, we learned in a Brisa, Rabbi Eliezer Hagadol Omer, Rabbi Eliezer the Great says, Eila told us Hashemayim Varetz Bihibaram. It says, these are the generations, these are what is produced from Shamayim Va'aretz. So Rabbi Eliezer says, Toldos Shamayim, that which is in the sky is part of the Shamayim. Mi Shamayim Nivra was created out of the Shamayim. Rashi says, Toldos HaShamayim Ma'oros V'Kochavim, those things that illuminate, the luminaries, the stars, those things were created from the Shamayim. And similarly, Toldos Aretz, that which comes from the earth, Me'aretz Nivru, that was created from the earth. So those things came from the earth. And the Brisa continues, V'chachamim omrim, the Chachamim say, Elu v'elu mitzio nivru, these and these, all of it was created from Tzion, from Eretz Yisrael. Shanemar, like the Pasuk says, Mizmor liyosof, keel elokim Hashem, same Pasuk as before, Diber v'yikra aretz mimizrach shemesh an mevoho, v'yomer mitzion mechlal yofi. Again, from Tzion comes the beauty, elokim hofiyam imenu, mechlal yofi yoshalolam. Meaning, from Tzion, the beauty of the world was perfected, including the toldos shamayim and the toldos aretz. And the Gemara continues that the two dots, quoting the Mishnah, It says the Kohen Gadol took the blood from the one who was stirring it, and it says that he sprinkles the blood, Kematzlif. So the Gemara says, My Kematzlif, what does it mean, Kematzlif? Machvi, Rav Yehuda, Rav Yehuda demonstrated, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video, on Daf Nun Hey, Omid Aleph.